After President Biden's hot mic moment about having a come to Jesus talk, tensions between Israeli and U.S. leaders continues to rise as the U.S. administration attempts to play both sides in this conflict. ILTV's William Sharon has the latest. Tensions between U.S. President Biden and Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu were on the rise after repeated comments by the U.S. President criticizing Netanyahu's execution of the war in Gaza. President Biden was recently caught on hot mic in which he stated he and Prime Minister Netanyahu would have a come to Jesus meeting about the Gaza war. Have you scheduled the come to Jesus meeting with Bibi Netanyahu? No. Do you plan to, sir? We'll see what happens. President Biden also recently hinted at addressing the Israeli people directly about Netanyahu's approach, but the White House stated that no plans had yet been made. While President Biden has reiterated his commitment to Israel in its time of need when it comes to security, he has also vacillated on the issue of destroying Hamas, repeatedly warning Israel not to conduct operations in Rafah. It is a red line, but I'm never going to leave Israel. The defense of Israel is still critical, so there's no red line. I'm going to cut off all weapons so they don't have the Iron Dome to protect them. They don't have. But there's red lines that if it crosses, and they can, you cannot have 30,000 more Palestinians dead. Prime Minister Netanyahu responded to Biden's recent comments by pointing out that the tensions between the two allies helps Hamas. To the extent that Hamas believes that there's daylight between us, that doesn't help. Uh, I uh, appreciated the support that... Uh, President Biden and uh, the administration have given us since the beginning of the war. I can only hope that it will continue uh, uh, and to, uh, to victory, because victory is at hand. Victory is close. Despite the tensions, Prime Minister Netanyahu did emphasize the partial destruction of Hamas is simply not an option. And this is something mutually agreed upon with the United States.